So I want to talk about how to construct some perpendicular lines. And so notice I have two different cases. One case here where it's a, a line and a point on the line, and one case here where it's a line and a point off the line. Now they're both really similar. And what I need to do is make a perpendicular. And that makes me think about a perpendicular bisector. So basically a line like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some um, points that are equidistant from, from that point. In other words, that's the center of them. So I'll set that set this point as the center and I'll just fix my uh, my compass at a certain length and I'll arc it off here and notice it comes all the way around arc it off here and so notice what I did was I created these two no points and that's the midpoint so I'm going to do a perpendicular bisector through it fix my I'm going to I'm going to use something that's a little longer than this because I want it to go past it uh, I'm going to arc from there I'm going to arc from there. Oops, sorry. And so notice what I did was I arced from here, arced from here, same length. So that means that these are the same length from there. That should be perpendicular. Uh, I'm going to do the same sort of thing here. So get some length that's a little longer than that distance. And I, oops, that moved a bit. So I have this point and this point. Notice they're the same distance from that. So now what I can do is do a perpendicular bisector idea from these two points, right, of this segment. So I could go above or below. I think I'll just go below. I'll arc off from there. I'll use the same arc from here. And so now just notice this then it goes through there, but it gives me another perpendicular line. 